Hello, this is Clarence. Today I would like to show you how to make homemade chocolate at your home. So I'm going to pass you through the steps and how to go about it when making chocolate at home. You will see the procedures, the ingredients that I'm going to use and how you will do it at home. These are the ingredients and the requirements that I'm going to use while making my milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. As I'm going to take you through one by one so that you get to know them. Um, that is the silicone mold. It's rubber in form. And that is the ice tube or ice tray. These are the ingredients that is cocoa powder, Cadbury cocoa powder. You will see how we will use it. And that is the butter, little butter. You also see how I'm going to use it when time comes. I bought in the I bought it in quality supermarket. Then that one is called icing sugar. Yes. It can also be got from any supermarket. You can get it from any supermarket that is called icing sugar. You also get to see how I'm going to use it. And then the next uh, ingredient is the little milk. You can get any powdered milk for as long as it's powdered. Then my other requirements, you have to use a container which you will put in the butter when time comes for melting it. So that you put in the um, the ingredients and that is my saucepan you use it when putting in the container so that the butter that you've put into the container gets to be melted so here i've put my saucepan on um cooker so i'm going to wait until the water get boiled so that i put in my container with butter in it so that it gets melted as you see then there my butter has started melting you see it it's melting just because of the the heat that is inside the saucepan since the water down is boiling you all see it's it's melting right now so after it melting i'm going to show you how i'll go about it then after melting it after melting it you see my ingredients that um that is icing sugar i have to measure four spoons tablespoons of icing sugar as you see make sure they are tablespoons not teaspoons so i'm done then then here is my melted butter it has all melted so i've added in the icing sugar that you have seen down that i've seen there but i've counted four i've measured four then here is my cocoa powder then I'm having my powdered milk. I'm going to also measure four tablespoons. I have to place them into 
the melted butter then after i'm going to stir evenly as you see how i'm doing it then that's my cocoa powder i'm going to mix it into the milk that i've melted plus the icing sugar because i first put the icing sugar then the milk the powdered milk then lastly i added in the cocoa powder i have to mix it evenly with the rest of the ingredients that i first put in then that is my silicone mold yes it's in it's in a form of rubber i'm going to make sure that the melted butter with the ingredients that i've shown you after them being melted evenly i have to put them i have to put them in a um, silicone mold as you're seeing me you feel that each and every hole with um you feel each and every hole with a um, melted butter that's melted chocolate yes you feel it in you make sure that all of the all of the what all of the holes get even amount of melted chocolate then after the remaining ones i had to put them in the ice tray you also make sure that you fill each and every part of the ice tray evenly so that each and every part gets even amount of melted chocolate So you're seeing the way how I'm spreading the the melted chocolate on my ice tray. That's how you should do it. You see there? You make sure that you clean the remaining parts so that the melted chocolate only. Here we are also going to do our milk chocolate, but we still use the same ingredients. And but here, for exception, we don't use the cocoa powder. Here we're going to use our powdered milk we measure four tablespoons of powdered milk then you also have to measure four tablespoons of icing sugar as you're saying let me hope that you're observing everything i'm doing very clearly But you can make an amount of icing sugar depending on how you want it. Then here you see me um, already the other step I showed when I already melted the butter. So here after melting the butter you have to put your 4 tablespoons of powdered milk in the melted butter. So here after... Now, melting the powdered milk and the uh, icing sugar as you it. saw you me doing it yes, you have to put it also to, pour it in um, ice tray powder as i've done here yeah, you see it very well the powder how it milk. has come out this time around so let's wait for the outcome after putting it in the fridge for some minutes then let us wait for the outcome so this is our milk chocolate and we are going to see the outcome it's there i'll put it in a 
a tray so after i have to put in them in the refrigerator i had to put them for like one night so that's how they came out this is my silicone mold you see how they have how they have come out when i put them when i place them in a uh, fridge so these ones are going to come out with a design that is in that is inside the silicone mold you're going to see it when i remove them then this is my eye tray you see also how it has come out you're also going to see the design that will come out from the eye tray this is the milk chocolate you see how it has also come out after leaving it in a refrigerator for a night So here I'm trying to remove the chocolate from the silicone mold you see since it's in rubber in form it's easy for you to remove them out you see it's very easy you see the design inside the silicone mold is the same design that will come out on them do you see them they are looking good and nice I like the rubber silicone mold because it's easy for you to remove out the the chocolate or the sweets from the from it you see how I'm doing it we like it so much you can get it from I think these these bigger supermarkets because I bought my silicone mold from quality supermarket yeah there are different types of silicone molds you can get a heart so you see how they have come out they look good and nice with the design and so this one is the um, milk chocolate you see the design so though this one is very hard to get it out but i'll try to get out one you see the design on it you see the designs so those are the design that come out when i use the ice tray you see so i wish that all your things when you try them out come out like the way how mine come out just like my page subscribe to my youtube channel i love you so much thank you for subscribing liking and sharing